All right, so boom. Sorry for the delay, but the wait is over. Child, I was catching hell with that second video. I swear I had recorded the second part, but I didn't even press record. So I got to do it from start to finish. So here we go. We just going to empty this heavy cream into the mason jar and we just going to shake it. And that's pretty much it. It's super, super easy. Not only can you use this for your hair, for your skin, but you can also cook with it. So you can get fancy and put you some cinnamon, some honey and some stuff in there, or you can put you some essential oils and make it for your hair. But keep on watching this video and I'm actually gonna do this in real time so you can see how quickly the butter begins to develop. It's about a, it could be like a five minute process if your heavy cream is room temperature. This has became one of my new faves as I've been, you know, doing my little hair growth thing. And I just love how moisturizing this is. And I love leaving it in my hair overnight, although it begins to smell like ass after like this, probably like the sixth or seventh hour after you have it in your hair, it starts to have like that, you know, like that rotten milk type of smell. But the benefits that you get from it I feel like the smell is kind of like an even trade, so whatever. Now you're just gonna shake until you can't shake no more and you're gonna see all the phases that it's gonna go through. Like it's gonna go from more of a liquid to more of like a whipped cream texture to more of like a thicker whipped cream texture, almost like a mayo. And then you're going to start hearing it get a little bit more firmer. And that's when you know that the butter is being developed. Okay, so now you see that we have some butter. And what we're gonna do is drain the buttermilk from the butter. The buttermilk is going to make the butter spoil quicker. So that's why you want to get rid of the buttermilk. Now you can use the buttermilk for like a milk toner for your face, or again, you can cook with it. If that's your desire, you can do whatever you want, or you can just pour it down the sink. It doesn't really make a difference. Now we want to remove as much buttermilk as possible from the butter. So we're going to go in with some cold water and make sure that it's really, really cold, like ice cold, like put it in the freezer and make sure that it's really, really cold water. And then you're just going to give it a few more shakes so that we can remove even more of the buttermilk. Now, we're going to repeat that process one more time just to make sure that we got the majority of the buttermilk out. Th 
this is like super easy like literally anybody can do it and you don't need any extreme equipment to create butter like you literally can do it by hand you can add your essential oils before you start shaking to create your butter or you can add it after the butter is made you can mix it in before you put it in the refrigerator now um this amount will give me two processes for my hair so i'll be adding my essential oils after but i just wanted to make the video so that you guys could see the part two of how i actually complete my ethiopian hair butter So the issue that I was having with following the Ethiopian recipes that I came across was the fact that they add the water before they add it to, um, before they blend it. And that absolutely did not work for me. Like it did not whip. It did not give me any type of butter consistency at all in the blender or if I did it by hand, it just was not working out for me. So hopefully this is a little bit more clear and this gives you a little bit better of an idea of how to make the Ethiopian hair butter for your hair because it's really, really a good treatment and I think everybody should try it. Your hair, if you have curly hair, like it will really like, it's like a curly perm, like seriously. It makes your curls like so manageable.